Good evening. Lots happening tonight weather-wise. We'll try to take you through that quickly but efficiently. We have our current temperatures. Sunshine around the area, but really that's not much uh, sunshine. More shadows right now as we are nearing the sunset. Our winds are picking up even as we speak. Right now the gusts are up to uh, 25 miles per hour in Champaign and that will be minimal compared to what we are yet to see. A wind advisory in effect overnight in the full morning hours tomorrow and in most of the uh, northeast section of our territory in the afternoon tomorrow. And what's causing all this? Well, there is a system on the way and this wind is kind of a precursor of that system. It's a uh, low pressure system and it's going to be moving in from the southwest. But for now, though, here in the area, we have generally clear conditions, just some thin, wispy clouds. Overnight tonight, 59 for the low. Our temperatures will be fairly stable for the next several hours, but the thunderstorms then become a possibility. It's all happening at about the same time, and we have south winds tonight overnight at up to 40 miles per hour. Now, here's what's going to be happening with that uh, low pressure system. You see at 2 o'clock in the morning, we have uh, possible intensity there in uh, Sullivan, in the Decatur area as well, all the way uh, down south to Effingham. And that will move through the area slowly. It'll take a couple of hours. That's the, the first, really, of a two-part system. The second part of the system is just this thin line. That will pass through quickly, but that is mid-morning, so this is all taking a while. And again, interspersed throughout all of this activity tomorrow, and we finally have the clearing skies at 4 p.m., you still have the winds at that approximate time. As you can see from our day part forecast, the winds are our primary concern. The temperatures are holding fairly steady, but not really warming up too much because you've got the rain affecting the temperatures and also certainly the winds allowing for just a lot of mixing of uh, the colder air that comes with this cold front. Looking specifically now at our future wind gusts, taking it by day part, 7 o'clock in the morning is an area of perhaps the biggest concern when people are just getting up and getting going. Wind gusts of up to 50 miles per hour. You'll note that's coming from the due south. That's why our temperatures are not going to cool off drastically by any means. In the morning, 11 a.m., you still have, especially in the northeast section of the territory here, winds of up to 50 miles per hour. And then you've got that U of I football game where the gusts are still going to be continuing. I think that game starts around 2, 2.30 or so. And then finally toward evening, we get wind gusts that are a little more uh, normal for, for any time, really. Our weekend outlook, uh, again, after Saturday, the jewel of the weekend is Sunday with a high of 66. And Monday, our winds are going to uh, foretell a little bit of a, a colder situation with our high temperature down to 61. And then on top of everything else, we have the time change. Tonight's uh, sunset at 547. Look at the comparison with Monday, our, our sunrise tomorrow morning, the latest of the year at 727. Sunrise on Monday, about 630. That's not so unusual, but 444 for the sunset on Monday. That's your back to work day. And if we're yawning a little bit on Monday's newscast, it'll be because we're, uh, it seems like it's an hour later, even though the time has changed to reflect something a little bit earlier. And then you've got election day on Tuesday and a full moon. And that is no coincidence.